14-year-old Dylan Redwine went missing during a Thanksgiving visit with his father three years ago. Now, when Mark and Elaine appeared on the show, Mark refused to take a polygraph exam. And then sadly, four months later, Dylan's partial remains were found just 10 miles from Mark Redwine's home. Now, he has now been named a person of interest. Dylan's mother, Elaine, joins us now on Polycom. Uh, Elaine, uh, good to talk to you again. Hi, Dr. Phil, thank you for having me on. Bring us up to date, what's going on, Elaine? There are still searches, ongoing searches that um, happen. And through those searches, there has been um, new information, new evidence um, that has been found. You know, we work diligently on, on trying to, um, you know, make waves or, or do whatever we can do um, to try and, you know, keep Dylan's story out there and to try and keep pressure on law enforcement as well as, as on um, Mark. Right now, you're being sued by Mark, is that right? I am. I am being sued by Mark for um, intentional infliction of emotional distress, I believe. Tell us about Senate Bill 34, which would make tampering with a deceased human body a, a felony. Tell us about what's happening with that. Um, a close friend of mine asked me to um, lobby and advocate with her to sponsor a bill um, that would make tampering with a uh, human body more of a crime than tampering with any other evidence, such as like a cell phone or, or whatever. Right. So we are working on trying to get it a, a, high, a high felony. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear about these developments. We're going to continue to uh, stay in touch with you and keep a light on this. Thank you for talking to us again today, Elaine.